What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here, and well, today this is another video and it's some sad news depending on how you feel about this game. To cut, it was announced that Blue Protocol, the online action RPG that was free to play by Bandai Namco, is ending service on January 18th, 2025. And it was also confirmed that the Western release, which was supposed to be published by Amazon, has been cancelled. So this game won't be coming at all to the West and will be shutting down after almost one and a half years of service. Blue Protocol has been a very interesting game. Um, it's one that I particularly was very excited and looking forward to since it was announced. Since we saw a lot of it, especially back in 2019 when it got its first alpha, how I was excited for it. I was like, visually, I liked the aesthetics, how the game looked, how the combat looked at the time. Sadly, I also felt the development for the game was not easy. They went through a lot of alpha and then like betas. And then there was like a period where they were quiet. People were even thinking like, oh, did the game get cancelled? And then after like a long time of quietness, oh, they pop back up. It's like, oh, we have another beta coming up, guys. And then the game eventually released. The release was um, a bit mixed. Uh, again, this was a game that was only coming out in Japan. So, of course, people that were from not the Japan area were excited and wanted to play and it proved to be a little bit complicated that was one of the people that jumped in i managed to put some hours play some games but of course the account got banned um and that happened to a lot of people a lot of their accounts that if you weren't from japan or you know if you're whatever service you were using to mask your location wasn't good enough you were gonna be banned so i, I don't know how things are now but at least when the game came out we were seeing a lot of that i did also talk about that in my video saying like hey just wait for the game to come out in the west because it, it was originally not going to be a long wait from the japanese release to the west but eh, it's been quite some time for me another thing that i was thinking especially now i was like i don't think this game is coming out uh, because they've been very quiet at least for the west like, we really haven't heard anything up until now. And I think the proof a bit iffy also for fans was the fact that Amazon Games was in charge of the release here in the West. Some people were not very happy. Some people were, like, expecting this game to be heavily monetized by how Amazon works. So that also didn't help. In the end, with what happened with Blue Protocol in Japan, it just lost a lot of its win. Uh, people stopped playing, uh, the popularity had a nosedive. There are multiple reasons from repetitiveness, uh, some stuff being shallow, developers taking very long time to address certain things or changing certain aspects of the game, and then also the end game content was there. So it is what it is. Um, it's always a bit sad. You know, games that you're excited for. You're like, yo, this looks interesting. It looks like it's going to be fun. And then, well, it just ends up not being what it is. Um, I, That happened with me with the Evolution, where I had fun with the game, but people weren't. And it shut down after a year. And this is kind of happening with Blue Protocol. I don't know specifically, like, it's probably also not worth for Bandai to invest what they were investing in this game if they weren't seeing a lot of returns. Because it's not easy to maintain, especially something like an MMO. Like, it's not cheap. And then trying to bring it globally, which is why in Japan, they publish it themselves, but that's why, like, they were seeking help, which is why Amazon was going to publish it. Because, of course, server structure, paying for stuff, like, they weren't uh, capable of that globally so yeah i mean a bitter end for something that could have been something cool had potential people were excited for just to end in nothing um sad to see when stuff like this happens like i said visually this game was very cool the art style was nice um some of the character designs the characters that you were able to create so many people were liking it. even myself like looking at a lot of the stuff I was like wow i really like the direction that the game is going art wise and and style but uh, some stuff is just not meant to be so yeah, guys um just wanted to do this brief video giving an update and you know 
closure for some people that are wondering what the hell happened to Blue Protocol. So it's shutting down and it's not going to come to the West. So yeah, guys, as always, so what are your thoughts? Um, did you manage to play Blue Protocol or give it a shot? Feel free to leave your thoughts down below. This has been Oblivious Gamer and I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night wherever you are.